Hey guys, welcome out to the range. Recently, one of my viewers, um, Mark Merman, I believe was his name, uh, made a comment about um, about having difficulty uh, in loading. Uh, um, um, I'm sorry, in uh, in dropping his magazines on his Glock, and um, and he said he he wants to go to Glock, but he has difficulty. He has small hands, and he has difficulty getting to the mag uh, to the mag release. So I told him, I said, look, one of the things that you can do to help yourself with that is. When the gun goes empty, and you're, and I'll show you right-handed, even though I'm a lefty. When the gun goes empty, um, what you do is so let me find a let me find an angle that works for this. Okay, I'm shooting, and when the gun goes empty and locks back to the rear, my support hand hooks on the front of the gun and rolls the gun into my thumb, and the mag comes out. So once again, you're shooting. Whack, 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 gun goes empty, support hand hooks the front of the trigger guard and pulls on the gun like this and is driving it into this thumb that's, that's already pre-positioned. Now obviously my thumb is huge, but let's say your hand, let's say your thumb can only reach there and you can't reach that without, without pulling the gun over. What's funny is you're already doing it, you just don't realize it, except this is doing it more efficiently. You, you're just rolling it into your hand. All you're doing is pulling that gun into your hand, into your uh, your support hand is pulling that gun into your shooting hand, and the mag comes out. That's one thing. And the other thing that I told him was, uh, Gen 4, Gen 5 has reversible mag catches. So all you've got to do is flip it over, and for you as a for you as a righty, flip it over, and then eject it. And I'll show you with this side, um, with me being a uh, with me being a lefty. When the gun goes, when the gun goes empty, the gun goes empty. Now my trigger finger goes to the mag catch. Mag comes out, and actually, you guys have seen me do it. It's basically that. Mag, mag goes empty. Next mag comes up and in, and it just goes home. Why? Because my index finger, which was previously busy doing this automatically positions here and when the when the next mag is introduced to the gun the slide goes home automatically and there's one in the chamber and uh, while we're on that subject I'll show you guys um, loaded chamber indicator does work even when it is off the charts filthy I went to a class years ago where the instructors were ridiculously abusive and had us doing just all kinds of stupid crap with our guns and at one point they told us, drop your guns in the mud. And I went, oh boy, this. So I dropped my gun in the mud. And then the instructor goes walking down the line, stepping on people's guns, and the gun literally goes <laughs> with the mud coming out of the gun. And I went, yeah, this is a whole lot of stupid in one place. And uh, anyways, the gun, the gun didn't work. Um, it got like a round or two, and the gun just totally boogered up and stopped. And I mean, guys, there's only so much a Glock will take. I mean, there's only so much stupidity that a Glock is going to tolerate. And when you have Tennessee clay squeezing through every single everything on that gun, there's just only so much it'll take. But I remembered when I went to the bucket to rinse it out that I checked the loaded chamber indicator and it was down. And then there was still a lot of junk in the gun and I was, I was like, oh, let's try this. So I went ahead and stepped to the edge of the tree line and loaded it and oh, lo and behold, even with all that crap still in the gun, the loaded chamber, loaded chamber indicator was now up. And then when I did this and then, uh, dry, well, you can do it with the locked open, but the point is when I cleared the live round out of it, the loaded chamber indicator was back down again. So anyone that tells you, oh, the loaded chamber indicator could end up getting locked open because of blah 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 getting in the gun i can tell you from personal experience with an excessive level of abuse on the gun it still worked the way it was designed to work imagine that so once again um whether you're a lefty whether you're a righty if you have a gen 4 or gen 5 and by the way there's a reason that the gen 4 glock is no longer being produced because it's dookie gen 5 fixed the issues that the gen 4 never could address um, the gen 5 glocks are able to have the mag catches reversed, try it. 
Those of you that are righties, flip your mag catch over and actually try using your trigger finger to, uh, let me show this mag is, okay. Trigger finger to run reload. Weapon goes empty, mag out, mag in, index finger gets placed on the side of the, of the weapon, and your slide goes home, and you got one in the pipe. So it is a slick way to run your gun, and it saves you the extra step of either dropping the slide or wrecking the gun. And because it's a Gen 5, there's a mag, mag catch on either side. And I would highly suggest, I use Vickers Tactical, um, the, the slide catch from uh, Tango Down. They're the ones that make it for him. Um, and I believe they already have a Gen 5 version. So they have just enough of a standoff on the gun right there. Yeah, right there. There's just enough of a standoff on the gun to give you that little bit of purchase to shelf against when you're doing this technique. And um, it is a very efficient way to run your gun. And if you practice and practice and practice like I do, you will get to that point where it is completely just normal for you to do that maneuver. The key is you cannot, your mindset cannot be, I'm going to be as fast as I can. Your mindset needs to be, I want to be as efficient as I can be. And if you're efficient, it really will look fast. Because when I'm out here teaching and I demo these drills for my students, they, they go, dude, you're so fast. I'm not fast. I'm efficient. I'm efficient because I put in the work consistently. It's cold out here right now. And I'm out here working. So that's what I got for you guys today. As always, I thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Mark, I hope this answers your question. Uh, God bless you. Get your guns out and practice. Oh, and uh, I'm not sure when you're going to view this video, but uh, today it's like two days before Christmas, so Merry Christmas. God bless you all. Have a good one.